kinds of things that maybe in your individual family or your extended family, maybe you have a cousin who's a vegan or they can't eat gluten or whatever. There's going to be, I'm sure, other food related constraints wherever yeah. you go. So you don't need to feel weird about it. But yeah. like CJ said, if you can do some planning ahead, that's always good. Most hosts and hostesses know what's going to be served. So you can call them and ask questions, yeah. you know, and in that way you can kind of get an idea of maybe what you might need. And like when you have visited your parents in the past, yeah. they know you eat a certain way, so you will generally get groceries before you go. Yeah, or that kind yeah. Of thing. when I go see my folks, it's just a pretty standard practice for me to stop at a Walmart, pick up a few things that I know that I can eat, Eggs, pick, up, bacon. pick up some things that I know my daughter will eat. Mm -hmm. My daughter's not doing keto. But I still want to pick up stuff that I know she has. Right. Although my folks have a lot of carb stuff and right. a lot of ice cream and stuff right. that kids like. But for me, the stop is really for me because I know I can get stuff that I need. Right. So that I can at least, at least have one or two meals a day that I can control. At least and, get started. And, and get yeah. started off right. So that's just, but again, that's part of just living keto for a while and thinking things through. Um, you know, I don't know, everybody's families are different. And but you everybody know, if you looks... think about it, a lot of times that's something that you would do anyway. Even if you were eating, you know, whatever. If you were going to go and see your parents, you know, they're 90 years old. It's like, yeah, well, you I, might yeah. stop and get some things that you liked anyway because you don't know what yeah, they're going to have. Yeah, that's true. My folks are pretty old. You know, so... like it's all the way you look at it. You yeah. know, you could look at it as an inconvenience or you could look at it as, this is, you know, these are the holidays. These are things that we would need to do anyway. We, yeah. you know, call with and check with friends what we're having, what we can bring. You know, it's just part of yeah. living. And it's just part of living, and it's part of living the keto lifestyle. Mm -hmm. You know, if you've made that decision to, to do keto, live keto as a lifestyle. Even if you made a decision to do keto just as a diet, mm -hmm. if you're trying to stick with it, sometimes it's going to be a little bit challenging. inconvenient or yeah. cha challenging for you. Uh, especially if you visit other folks that you know, uh, friends or family. Uh, you know, one thing that's not on this list is, so we talked about travel, talked about visiting, visiting other, other people. people. Well, I guess, we are, good. I guess we are down to the last one. Uh, when you're depressed. So you want to talk about that? Yeah. It's winter. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're going to go through the holidays and we're going to have, yeah. you know, we're going to have, you know, an elevation of, of happiness, visiting with people, family, friends, yeah. you know, when those times are over and we start heading into the beginning of next year and we go through February and some of those dark times, you know, we have daylight savings time now, it's getting dark, it's cold, it's wet, it's ugly, yeah. all of those things. Yeah. Sometimes it's just a natural inclination, even if you just have, you know, seasonal affective disorder, that you might go through some times of depression. There might be things that happen. You might, you know, have illness in your family. Um, you know, things that you don't foresee occurring it can cause a level of depression or, you you know, you go through times of stress. Sure. And so a lot of times when that happens, your first inclination is to cling to foods that you ate in the past in order to comfort yourself. And yeah. that's perfectly normal. We're all human. All right. So that to me is one of the times where being ketogenic can be difficult because you instinctively reach out to comfort yourself with foods, foods from childhood, foods that your grandma used to make, whatever the case may be to help yourself feel better. Yeah. Now I think one of the things I think I can say for myself is, uh, cause we live in a area where it, in the sum in the summer in the winter it's really dreary yeah. dreary 